Welcome back to my channel. And if you are using Excel in your day-to-day -day life, you must know VLOOKUP. So today we are going to discuss what is VLOOKUP, how you can use VLOOKUP in the best possible way, and if you are using VLOOKUP and facing any kind of error, how you can fix it. So without any further delay, my friend, let's start this video. So now, my friend, we will look at what is VLOOKUP. So whenever you are searching a key value in a table vertically, and that is what we call VLOOKUP or vertical lookup. And if you look at this formula, the very first parameter you can see that is lookup value. It means that your key value. And then we have table array. It means that in which table you are searching for that value. And then we have column index. So in which column you are looking for the result value. And then the fourth parameter we have that is range lookup. So this is optional. If you want to pass it, you can pass. If you don't want to pass it, you want to skip it, you can skip. So to use VLOOKUP, first we will type equal to VLOOKUP. And the first parameter that is what we can see here that is lookup value. So here we are looking for the score number. So I will select this column and that is B4. I will just add comma. And the second parameter that is table, table array. So I will select this table array that is E4 colon F8 then comma and we'll take the column index. So here the score is index one and grade is index two in this table. So I will give index two because we want result from the grade column. So I will give two and then if we add comma, we can see the optional value that is range lookup. So we have two values here. One is approximate match and the second one is exact match. In our case, we can't see that we have exact values here. So we are looking for approximate match. So if I will select true, so I will just add true colon and insert. So you can see we have the correct value here that is fail because if a score is below 50, that is fail. So let's edit it and in case when we are not passing value, what will happen? So I will remove this and enter. So you can see again in that case, we are getting same value that is fail. It means that if you are not passing value, by default, it's taking approximate match. So let's change this value to false means that exact match. and we can't see any exact value here so let's see what we are getting and obviously we are getting no value because we don't have exact match value here in this table so i will just remove and enter and now we have the correct value so in case of excel what we do once we add formula in one column that is what we drag to other rows and that is what you can see we have uh, correct value for all other rows like the correct value for Mira, the correct value for Kunal and also Isita, Rago. but here we don't have value. Why? If you look at this formula, you can see that the, the table we have that is outside of this table. Why? Because we are using reference value. We are using relative reference. When you use this kind of value that is relative reference and that's why we can't see any value here because as we are filling these columns also the table reference is increasing by index one so my friend in that case what we want is that our table reference should be fixed means that we should have the absolute reference in that case so i will just go here i will select this value and we can use f4 so i will use f4 and now you can see we have dollar values in front of e and 4 and f and 8 it means that now we are referring to the absolute value so what i will do is i will just select this i will put enter and that is what we will drag so now you can see we have correct values for each and every column here in this table it means that in case when you are using a table reference 
यूज एब्सोलूट वैल्यू इंस्टेड ऑफ यूजिंग रिलेटिव वैल्यू सो नाउ माई फ्रेंड यू सॉ दैट हाउ यू कैन यूज अप्रोक्सीमेट मैच हाउ यू कैन यूज एग्जैक्ट मैच बट इन केस वेन वी हैव द सेम टेबल बट नॉट इन अ इंडेक्स नॉट इन अ शॉर्ट फॉर्मेट लेट सी दैट वी आर गेटिंग दिस रिजल्ट और नॉट सो नाउ विल सी दैट वट आर द कॉमन एरर्स वी फेस विन वी यूज वी लुक अप सो माई फ्रेंड यू सा दैट इफ वी आर यूजिंग हियर दिस फार्मूला एंड एब्सोलूट वैल्यू वी आर गेटिंग करेक्ट रिजल्ट बट हियर यू कैन सी आई हैव टू टेबल्स वन टेबल इन अ शॉर्टेड मैनर एंड अनदर टेबल वेयर वी डोंट हैव शॉर्टेड वैल्यू सो इन केस वेन यू आर यूजिंग अ टेबल लाइक टेबल आर ए एंड दैट इज नॉट शॉर्टेड विच काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम वी फेस वेन वी आर यूजिंग वी लुकअप दैट इज वॉट विल टेस्ट हियर सो वॉट आई विल डू इज आई विल रिप्लेस द टेबल वैल्यू एंड इंस्टेड ऑफ दैट आई विल सेलेक्ट दिस वन सो यू कैन सी इवन दो वी आर डूइंग अप्रोक्सीमेट मैच बट लेट सी दैट वी आर गेटिंग रिजल्ट और नॉट एंड हियर वी आर नॉट गेटिंग एनी रिजल्ट इवन दो वी सेलेक्टेड अप्रोक्सीमेट मैच दिस इज नॉट एग्जैक्ट मैच वाई बिकॉज वैल्यूज आर नॉट शॉर्टेड हियर सो इफ वी विल जस्ट अगेन विल गो बैक हियर and replace this value with this table and use the absolute value you can see we are getting correct result and then that is what you will drag to other columns other rows so now you can see my friend we have correct values here so now we saw that how, what is we look up how in you can use we look up in a best way and what are the errors we are facing when we are using we look up and your table your table array is not sorted so if you like my content please like and subscribe my channel and see you in next video